Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome to another Fortnite video here on the channel. Now today we've had the version 29.10 update, which has, you can see on the screen, has brought the Banana of the Gods, a forbidden delicacy reserved for the Olympians. It restores 100 health over time and increases your sprint speed and jump height for 25 seconds. So it gives you basically the Zeus's medallion effect for 25 seconds, which is quite nice, plus 100 health. You can't really complain. Uh, They've also brought back the Deagle, also known as the Hand Cannon. Um, they're advertising in here uh, some other things, such as the Blazing Fire Cerberus from the um, quest rewards, saying that you need to complete 20 quests from weeks 0 through week 3. That's actually not out yet still, so you can't get that if you see that in the news tab. Um, in Lego Fortnite, they've brought out vehicles, so you can now actually drive things with an actual steering wheel, which is kind of useful um, so there's a lot to do with that um, then there is also uh, the super level styles now in the um, battle pass on quest page 5 uh, bonus rewards page 5 6 and 7 which is the stygian um, styles on quest page 5 which is like levels I think roughly 142 to 160 then the next set, which I believe is what like 160 to 180, is the Olympian styles, which is nice, a nice bluey purple style, still with a lightning effect. And then on page seven, the purple, red, and orange vibes with Titan Flame taking us all the way up to level 200. The Titan Flame Hades even has an extra style that actually is on fire, which is beautiful to see. This update also put in stuff for Korra, but that isn't coming till next week. There was also a Guardians of the Galaxy bundle added to the files, which is not out yet. And Ascendant Midas will be out later tonight when the item shop changes. Um, there are also some little balance changes, which are that snipers are a little bit more rare. You can now only get them as epic and legendary. The drum gun's damage and fire rate has been increased. The Huntress DMR's damage and projectile speed has been increased. The Chains of Hades' damage has been increased from 30 to 40 when you pull an enemy. And the maximum effective range for the Frenzy Auto Shotgun has been decreased. Um, but that is not really the purpose of today's video. The purpose and why you're here is quests. So, uh, really quickly to whiz whistle over them, Midas Presents the Floor is Lava, we've got part 3, which is the final set of quests today, 5 more quests, very simple to do, hit 5 airborne players, literally just shoot people out of the sky, they're using wings, um, land in water and reach 25 players remaining in Floor is Lava, I would advise landing in one of the upper lakes by Classy Courts or Grand Glacier, because then you're still high enough to be above the lava when it starts. But also you've landed in water and reached the top 25 from there. Deal 5,000 damage with the Thunderbolt Zeus. I don't know if that counts to structures. I hope it does because that is a very significantly large number. Travel 1,000 meters in the air after landing from the battle bus. Um, that shouldn't be too hard to do if you shockwaves, grapples, um, or the wings. And then finally outlast 100 players. Really easy quests to do for that. But the purpose of this video, we are looking specifically at our week 3 quests. Now, I'm not sure if this is a visual glitch or if this is a bug or if it's intended. I have actually um, tweeted at uh, Fortnite status to try and find out. But you will notice there that the weekly bonus goals have completely disappeared. Hopefully we still get the XP from them because completing get, uh, quests to get some extra XP, 10,000 XP per quest is not great. Whereas the 25,000 we got from completing certain amounts of quests was pretty useful. The six this week are collect 10 shield potions, which is party assisted, which is nice and easy. All you gotta do as a team, just pick up 10 shield potions, really easy to do. Hit two headshots on players with the hand cannon. So by players, bear in mind, you can't do it on an NPC, you can't do it on guards, but headshots with the hand cannon shouldn't be too bad to do. Hit 10 different players with mythic weapons, kind of annoying one to do, again players as well, so no NPCs, no guards for that one, but there are a lot of mythic weapons in this season and there will be a new one coming soon with uh, Korra's waterbending mythic, so that might be even easier. Um, then 150 damage to players while inside or brief briefly after exiting a shield bubble junior, that's kind of an annoying quest to do. 
and it also doesn't clarify how briefly they mean, so that one might be a bit annoying. Eliminate 10 opponents in the underworld at night or Mount Olympus during the day. I mean, depending on the time of day, just go to one or the other. Spawn in um, like some minions uh, with the gods. Nice and easy quest to do. And then finally, collect three Olympian powers, mythic weapons or aspects of the gods in a single match. Not so much of an easy one, but shouldn't be too bad. Uh, by Olympian powers, bear in mind they mean the Chains of Hades, Zeus's Lightning Bolt, which is also a mythic, or the Wings of Icarus. So literally just picking up all three of those will count. The Aspects of the Gods are the four medallions, and the mythic weapons, there's four of those as well. Uh, plus, I'm not sure, I think there, there might be a fifth one actually, but there's enough on the island for you to be able to do that. So without further ado, we're going to go into a game and we're going to get some done. So, here we are. And let's try and... Uh, save Ali, I guess. Wait, you know the... you know the quest for uh, collecting shield potions? Mini shields count. No. Oh wait, you played games on your own, didn't you? Uh, Ali, we will come and save you in a second. I promise. Mhm. Mm Are you okay, Tom? You literally just. You're all. You, why are you both dead? This isn't a great start to the video. I can't even remember what else I'm trying to do. Oh, I can't remember what I'm trying to do. Alright, he is too far away. Zeus has too much health. Zeus has way too much health, honestly. Epic, can we talk about why Zeus has like 3000 HP? I think Ares has the best mythic. Mm hmm. What I can do is now, he's spawned in minions, yeah? And I've got to eliminate opponents during the day here. Now these count as opponents. Well, we did what I intended to do, which means, which means I managed to prove one thing on the video, which is what I intended to prove to you guys. Those quests this week, they sound hard and some of them are, don't get me wrong, but that bottom one, if I'd have just found a lightning bolt or killed Zeus, that quest is really easy to do. Uh, on top of that, I'd also like to say the shield potions is even easier than I thought it was because they're counting minis. Like that is such an easy quest to complete. Um, as as for eliminating opponents, if you're doing it at Mount Olympus or at Brawler's Battleground during the day, just kill the minions. They count as opponents, which makes that quest a lot easier to do as well. Um, obviously, you've got to find a hand cannon to get your headshots with that. So. The other quests might be a little bit more challenging, but all in all, your quests this week, week 3 quests are quite simple, as are the Floor is Lava quests. So, 
Good luck with completing them, obviously. And then we will be back tomorrow for some more of the Riders Misers... Uh, Riders Misers? Midas Rises quests. Where um, we will have the Myths of Midas quest line, which is the fourth out of five sections for that. And then we will obviously be back on Thursday as well for the Great Marigold Yacht Heist on March 28th to finish off the Rise of Midas Spring Event 2024. So, with all that said and done, we also seem to have just been given 200 V-Bucks for incorrect instrument pricing. So an instrument I've bought has just been made cheaper. We love that. Epic are giving out a lot of free V-Bucks at the moment for various things. So, make sure to check out in-game, because if you've got Fortnite crew, I know a lot of people have been given 950 V-Bucks today. And clearly they've changed some instruments as well to make them cheaper. So with all of that in mind, guys, free V-Bucks easy quests what more can you ask for in an update but with all that in mind guys thanks for watching the video hope you find it informative enjoyable and fun to watch as always and i will see you all in the next one